Yeah, so the um, booklet, the program of work that the kids get, um, I always start with that with my students at the very beginning. Um, it out outlines really clearly like the general structure of things, you know, about forming your team, about giving out roles, spending some time choosing your project, creating that action plan, having some deadlines in place. So all of that is just a really good framework to get started in. And obviously, depending on where the project goes and, you know, what your school timetable are and things like that, it chops and changes. Um, chops and changes around a bit, but, you know, it's a really good structure to go through. Um, and it's something that the kids can go back to. I often say to them, have a look at your program of work, where are you up to, what might you need to look at next? And it's really simple and accessible for them. So that's been good. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Um, one thing I um, I find particularly good, um, and it, it's kind of engaging students in expressing their ideas uh, in a written format, and that's the blogging side of it. Um, it's one thing I've sort of pushed a bit harder this year to get some more details in there. And again, still not every group gets it, and not every group, uh, as, as you'll see, some kids just, yeah, that's just a stonewall to them. But it's actually a really good way for them to start to articulate what they thought about, what have they done? And it's not a case of, oh, this week we had a meeting and we did stuff. It's it's actually details and specifics. And and I keep, you know, like um, reinforcing the fact that when you're blogging stuff, it doesn't always have to just be like a diary. It can literally just be some bullet points. It could be a link to stuff. It could be a photograph with, you know, like you know, anything that you do. And so one of the things I've asked them to do is because they're kind of at a mid, midway stage, um, and obviously we can't see them face to face. So they've done a video presentation just about where they're up to and what they've done so far. And so I said, we'll put that in too, because that is you, you know, like going through that process. And um, and so, yeah, it's, um, I think all of it, there are so many, like I say, like there are so many different projects and so many different ways of doing it. Um, the resources are really flexible. Yeah, you know, that the, the website is easy to get onto, the kitchen sees it, but there's nothing that's too rigid in the way it should be done that it, it hampers any project. Um, and I think that works really well. So there's not too many instructions. There's not too many things to fill in. There's just key checkpoints to go to and stages that you need to meet. Uh, and then just the regular blogs make it simple. And then everything else is just them working through the process. Um, so I think it's really good. Oh. I agree. The um, blogs are really good because I think, like you said, um, it makes them actually stop and think about what they've been doing as well. And, you know, one of my boys came up to me the other day, they're doing something all about learning about budgeting or something. And he was wanting to show me the um, bank he created in Minecraft. He was so excited about it. And so in his blog post, it was, I created a Minecraft bank. It's like, but what else went into it? And actually when he stopped and thought about all the bits and pieces he'd learned and the problems he'd solved along the way to actually create it, he suddenly realized he had achieved a lot more than what he realized he had to start with. And I think that's been a really um, cool part of the blogging process as well. It's getting them to see not just that end result, but those other little um, achievements along the way.